there's a flurry of activity in the Parinyatwa Hospital Theatre. A team of surgeons, anaesthetists and nurses are in surgery to repair a ventricular septal defect or, as it's widely known, a hole in the heart for a four-year-old boy. It's a common condition here. One in 100 children is born with it and it can only be fixed by surgery. Sadly, many who've needed this life-saving procedure have been unable to have it done. Economic problems crippled the health delivery system, halting heart surgeries in 2003. Those who could afford it traveled abroad for treatment, but they were in the minority. The impact is that uh, a lot of the children uh, who had that disease at that time from 2003, some of them have developed complications in such a way that the, op the, the surgery cannot be done now. They have developed complications that the operation cannot be done. And some of the patients have died uh, because of the complications. The unnecessary deaths drove him to find partners who could bring in new equipment. Now he's back at work, saving lives. This four-year-old patient is being wheeled out of the theater after a successful heart procedure. The operation he's had was last done in Zimbabwe more than a decade ago. The new equipment in place that has enabled this to happen again is providing a new lease of life, not just to him, but to many more who are facing similar conditions. There are about 400 people waiting to undergo surgery. The numbers go up each year so the team hopes to get to them as quickly as possible. Per year we should be getting about 300 new patients, either in adults or in children, new patients. So that's quite a lot on our, on our economy. And we hope that by the end of this year we'll have done at least over 100 patients. We are aiming to do about 100 patients by the end of this year. Among those who've been treated is 15-year-old Munashe Tevera. Diagnosed in 2004, the new equipment came at the perfect time just before he ran out of his. I'm very happy because I think he's going to live longer now. And that will allow him to chase his newfound dream job of being a doctor, inspired by the man who saved his life. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.